So today we're speedrunning through Eliminating Dream. This is a game made by one of my friends and fellow speedrun YouTuber Eclipse, so definitely check him out if you do like the game. But yeah, this is basically a dream boss fight where you have to go through, defeat Dream. There are three different phases. We're on our first phase right now. And you can see in the bottom right, there's going to be some hearts. So basically we have to get Dream down to all the hearts and you can see us doing that right here. The first phase is probably the easiest out of all of them, even though even this one is really difficult. We're getting this TNT attack, which doesn't let us attack him back so that part kind of sucked but then we can finish him off right oh wait we don't that's so sad but then we finish him off right there we get into this water part which doesn't count as part of the second phase this is still part of the first phase but basically you just have to dodge all of these little arrows and it's not really the hardest thing but also only a small percentage of them yeah that's part of the game please subscribe. But anyway, now we're on to the second phase. This is probably what I would say is the hardest phase. You can see, first of all, he's giving me a lot of the best attacks to get, but then he has attacks like this. And this attack is really hard to dodge. You have to always be moving, always prepared for it. We get this one as well, which unfortunately we can't attack Dream when he's in this mode. But when we get that fishing attack, that's when we can attack him. When we get that attack as well, that's another part where we can attack him. So we're getting really good luck right now. And then, of course, I get this part. It does look like you could hit his head because it is peeking out, but you unfortunately can't make it back. So that's why we don't do it right there. But you can see I kind of damage boosted right there so I could hit him twice, got my extra mushroom. We get through this little axe throwing part where we I unfortunately got hit again. And this was like really scary, but thankfully we hit him twice again and we can finally get to the last little part where we turn into a little fairy thing. I don't really know why Mario went ahead and did that, but that doesn't matter. We have a bunch of phases in this last little part to do. So first of all, we had that arrow attack. Now we have this attack where basically you don't want to get hit by these explosions. We have Inferno, and to be honest, this one isn't very difficult. You kind of just can sit in one spot and you don't even have to move. It's kind of great. It's a nice little break. But then we get Dragon Breath because apparently Dream is now the Ender Dragon. And that's a, I did not know that was the memo, but then we also get Dragon's Treasure where he uses the breath and he uses that attack at the same time. This is probably one of the hardest attacks, except this one is also pretty hard. He uses arrows and his Dragon Breath at the same time. Like this is when my heart was really pounding. I was worried, but we finally got to the last attack, which I can actually cheese by going to the top. So none of the arrows can hit me, but he tries to hit me there. I'm just dodging it until this happens. Yeah. He killed us. But then this happens. Yes! Not what? bad! So, we won. Hooray. <laughs> and yeah, with that, I'm now Dream's fifth hunter.